Now we're going to talk about the second component of our program here at Unity Gym, which is the movement component. If you follow us on social media, you will have no doubt seen uh, some of the FMS exercises that we publish on a weekly basis. The exercise component is only uh, a, a very small component of what we actually do down here. When we come uh, and have new people sign up at Unity Gym, in most cases, they fall under this column A, which is an image-based goal. They join a gym to affect or, uh, or, or manipulate the, the, their body image. What we work very, very hard to do is take people out of column A and move them into column B. And there's a very, very distinctive reason why. I'll use a different color here. Image is what I call a outcome-based goal. There's nothing you can do in the present time that's going to immediately affect this in a tangible way. So image, that's absolutely fine to set a big, hairy, audacious image goal. And we, we use DEXA scan as our scoreboard. So we send each new person off to get their DEXA scan over at Measure Up. And then we set that aside. And that's cool. That gives us a really, really cool uh, measure of things like anatomical structural balance, number one, uh, obviously body fat, number two, it gives us muscle mass, and it also gives us bone density. It actually also gives us one more, which is really quite cool. I'll throw that in green over here, which is a resting metabolic rate. So we can more accurately calculate people's uh, food requirements, calories. Now, problem with all of that stuff is that we can't manipulate it in present time. So what do we do? Well, at Unity Gym, we get people to focus on what we call behavioral based goals. Okay? And this is really, really, really important to understand because focusing on things like exercise frequency, let's just make sure I'm spelling this right, intensity, uh, how we fuel the exercise through our nutrition, which we've discussed in a previous video, how we recover, how we perform in improving strength and also improving flexibility and mobility. And then finally, I like to take improvements in skill, which is a big one at Unity Gym because when we improve our skill in a movement, whether it's a combination of strength, flexibility and suppleness, coordination, learning a new movement altogether, we create a lot of neural activity and brain plasticity, which is very, very important. As we get older, we don't gen to, uh, tend to create, generate and grow new neurons in the brain unless we, we learn new skills. And the three major ones that we can uh, manipulate and learn to create new brain development, new neurons, is learning a new movement, learning a new language, or uh, what was the last one? Usually, usually uh, learning dance, martial arts, something like that, and learning a new language. Those are the real big ones that we can really manipulate the brain activity and brain development. So uh, the last one is learning to overcome an injury or a loss of limb. But most importantly, every single one of these can, so over here we can't, over here these can be manipulated in present time. And this is the key factor. Behavioral based goals, if we put a disproportionate amount of effort and focus and concentration on increasing the frequency of exercise, increasing the intensity of our exercise, increasing how we fuel our body for exercise by eating the right types of food in the right quantities and at the right times of day, 
putting effort into our recovery, having a proactive recovery program, meaning we don't wait for an injury to occur before we go get a massage or before we go to the chiro or the physio. We get a team of people around us that work on our body on a, on a regular basis, depending on the intensity of our exercise and the frequency, to be proactive around injury management. Also, obviously, the amount of uh, sleep we get every night, you know. We can make a conscious choice to go to bed at 10 instead of 12 to make sure we get eight hours a night's sleep. That is something that you can do right here, right now, today, that will obviously eventually affect the outcome-based goal, which is maybe to lose weight, improve our structural balance from left to right side, our muscle mass or our bone mineral density. All of these things are manipulatable in present time, which means that they're also very tangible. You will be able to measure from day to day improvements in strength and flexibility. You won't necessarily be able to measure improvements in body fat percentage. Do, do you understand where I'm getting at here? So at Unity Gym, we've created a program called the Foundation Movement System, which provides a platform that allows our members to move out of column A where they come to the gym with a very image focused, um, uh, big, hairy, audacious goal, usually to lose weight. And then we get there, obviously we, set, we send them off for a DEXA, we set some goals and we then bench that aside and we get them to put a disproportionate amount of effort into column B, ability based goals or uh, behavioural based goals, which can be manipulated in present time. Now if we focus on these, they will all contribute to moving the scoreboard. Does that make sense? Hopefully that gives you a little bit of understanding about how or where to put the majority of your focus. Uh, obviously I'm not suggesting that you completely abolish your uh, goal to lose weight or to gain muscle, but what I do suggest you do is strongly Focus your attention and effort onto the things that you can manipulate on a daily basis because I guarantee you they will have a profound effect on the overall outcome based goal to lose weight. In the final video coming at you soon, we're going to take a deep dive into the, in, into the last component of our program which is mindset where we're going to discuss how to set goals, how to align those goals with your core values and how to align all of that with your life's purpose it will dramatically increase the chances of you succeeding this year. Hope to catch you then. In the meantime, have a great time.